so today. my final pet peeve. Don't for say so. I'm allowed to say so. No. Yes. No. Welcome to Words with Wise Women. I'm Lisa. And I'm Liz. And we wanted to talk about the month of September, because I know for you, it's a pretty exciting time. I, I love September. It's the start of the kids going back to school. I base my year on the beginning being in September. And for me, September is really a time of upheaval and change, going from the sort of lax summer schedule to school beginning, having to have regular meal times, having to plan. And also, it's the time of year that is the month when my dad passed away, and we're actually coming up to the 10th anniversary of his death. And even though I know it's coming every year, it's a real trigger for me and for my anxiety, and I dread the month, really. What people can do is to try to anticipate, you know, hardships and difficult times that are coming and kind of prepare yourself ahead of time so you have some coping mechanisms and some tools to get through those difficult times. So one in particular, and I don't know if this is something that you would find that would help you, but, you know, pairing that really awful time in September, pairing it with something that actually makes you feel good like maybe planning a girl's trip or a weekend away with your husband or signing up for a course or class. Sometimes doing something that counters the negativity and sadness of what you're feeling kind of helps propel you to kind of feel a little bit better. Something that works for me is actually letting my circle of my friends and my family know that it's a difficult time and that I might need some extra support. It was hard for me initially to say, wow, this is tough. I could really use some help now, but now I realize that's what friends and family are for. It's, it's really important to get those around you, to rally around you, and I love that you reach out to people and let them know that you need a little bit of extra TLC during that time. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And the last tip that I think is essential, and you know, it might sound a bit harsh, but it's okay to wallow in your sadness a little bit and to, you know, feel sad and feel lonely and really appreciate what you're going through. We sometimes want to kind of get through those feelings so quickly and so pass them. You want them. to stuff them down. You don't want to experience them. So feel what you're feeling. And if it's sadness or if it's stressed or if it's depression or anxiety, it's okay to go through that for a little bit and to allow yourself to feel that. And sometimes what helps me is I bake a cake that my dad really liked. He loved mocha cake, and I don't know anyone else in the world who did. And on his, uh, the anniversary of his death, or sometimes on his birthday, I like to bake that kind of cake. We'd love to know what you do to get through difficult times. Let us know in the comments below.